Hi, I'm Cody with Fox 17, and today I'm at Blank Park Zoo talking about monarch butterflies. Joining me is Jesse Lowry, the conservation manager here at Blank Park Zoo. Hello. Hi. So, what makes monarchs so special? Monarchs are special because they're the most recognizable insect in the world. And weighing less than a paperclip, they take a migration through multiple generations through three countries. Mexico oh. to the United States, Canada, all the way back down to Mexico. Wow. And, and through multiple generations, that's the, the more interesting part. It's carry on my journey. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> okay, so why are the monarchs in decline? Basically two reasons, loss of habitat in their overwintering grounds in Mexico and loss of habitat in places like the Midwest. And what they need for habitat is uh, native plants, host and nectar plants um, in a butterfly garden in your backyard. Okay, so, so when they're on this, this migration journey, I assume that they essentially have to make camp because they can't just keep flying and so that's what they're losing is those places where they can stop on their journey. Exactly. They need host plants, which is places for the adult butterflies to lay their eggs and the plants that caterpillars eat, and nectar plants, or flowering uh, native plants, which is food for butterflies. Right. Okay. And so what can people do to help this situation? It's really easy to help all kinds of pollinators, including butterflies and bees. You can plant a pollinator pit stop right in your backyard, you which go. includes <laughs> these resources that the pollinators need. And we've got a project here at the zoo called Plant Grow Fly, okay. which will give you all the information on how to make um, that little gas station for pollinators in your backyard. That's fantastic. Pollinator pit stop. I love that. Okay. Well, thank you so much for talking with us today. And if you'd like to help out, you can visit plantgrowfly.com and learn how to make your own butterfly garden. While you're at it, make sure you follow all of the zoo's social platforms and as always get out here and visit the zoo this summer.